Hi everybody, Glenn and Christy Badge with Assisted Living Locators. We wanted to visit with you today and share some information on options for caring for a loved one in their own home. A lot of these things are things that folks will be familiar with, but uh, hopefully we'll educate you on a few different options that might not be as popularly known around the state. Uh, you know, every puzzle is different and every senior needs a couple of different things to get them to where they need to be safe and sound. So hopefully we'll share a couple of things you're unfamiliar with. And uh, the first slide that we'll start with are going to be companies that can handle a more clinical need. So these are organizations that traditionally would help someone coming out of a hospital visit or a rehab visit or something like that that have a higher clinical or medical need. The first one I'm sure all of you have heard of is the VNA or Visiting Nurse Association. They really are the original in-home care company. Um, they'll do everything that Glenn just mentioned and um, usually is um, private pay and also through Medicaid and Medicare. Um, the next one is in-home medical. Very similar to VNAs. Um, they always or mostly have an RN available to come out and do these things for you. Um, a little different where this one is just private pay and, and not offered through Medicaid or Medicare. And then the PT, OT, and speech where they can come in and help with mobility or swallowing, whatever is needed um, for that therapy. And this is covered through Medicaid and Medicare as well as private pay. The last one is counseling services. Um, right now, it's really important and insurance companies are offering it through online. So you don't have to be there face to face to get um, the counseling that you need. Absolutely. The next group of companies we'll touch on a little bit are less for those clinical or medical needs and more for help with things like activities of daily living, so shopping, cooking, laundry, cleaning, uh, those kinds of organizations as well. We'll start off with one that I think most people are very familiar with, in-home non-medical. Uh, these are your home insteads, your visiting angels, those sort of organizations that a lot of people are familiar with across the state. They primarily focus on things like companion care, assistance with shopping and running errands, meal prep and those kinds of things. Uh, they cannot handle med management or clinical things like an in-home medical company can, but they are there to help folks that just need a little bit of extra help. Maybe mom needs a, to have an eye on her when she's showering, or maybe mom's just really lonely and bored at home, and they can come in and visit with them. Uh, these are traditionally private pay. There are some Medicaid supports available throughout the state, but uh, primarily private pay for that, that resource. The next one's one that we're not sure that a lot of people are overly familiar with, but we're blessed in the state of New Hampshire to have a lot of options for this, and these are community caregivers. Most communities in the state of New Hampshire are covered by a local caregiving organization, and these are sort of the original in-home non-medicals. These folks provide rides to doctor's appointments, they provide they provide companion care in the home. They'll come by and play some cards with you, uh, just spend some time. Traditionally, not as much meal prep and those kinds of things, um, but really just designed to provide supports in the home. They are volunteer based. All of their employees are, or all of their caregivers are volunteers. Uh, they are also traditionally a little bit harder to get a hold of because those resources are volunteer based. Uh, another one that we think a lot of people are familiar with, at least the bare bones of, Meals on Wheels. We've all known someone that's had Meals on Wheels service and maybe liked the meals and maybe didn't. Um, hard to argue with getting that one nutritious meal every day delivered to you. Meals on Wheels provides a lot more than that as well. They are, for a lot of folks, the daily wellness check. Uh, that might be the only other human being that your loved one sees on a given day. So they're in the home, they're doing wellness checks, they're making sure that the home is in good condition. Sometimes they bring the mail and the trash cans in from the curb as well. So there are some things there that can augment, but again, short visits. Uh, these are usually donation driven for their funding. So again, not a lot of resources, some little community caregivers, but a good way to get a meal and get some eyes on your loved one during the day. Last one's one that Christy and I have used a couple of times with some of our clients and been very impressed with, but we don't think a lot of folks know about. Uh, it's traditionally called the Good Morning Program. Most communities in the state of New Hampshire, and just for instance, Nashua does not, Milford does because of the size of Nashua and the number of seniors, uh, but most communities around the state offer this good morning program through their local police department where you can set up a phone call for your loved one from the police department every morning. The police department goes through their call list, they call everybody on it, they make sure they get an answer and things are good at the home with the senior. If something's going on with the senior or if there's no answer, an officer is dispatched to do a wellness check almost immediately. 
Um, again, a really short visit, just a quick phone call in the morning, but what an amazing way to be able to bring a police officer to your loved one's door to do a welfare check and bring all of those services if needed as well. So most of these organizations we've talked about here, you can access information on them again by dialing 211 from any phone in the state of New Hampshire from going on service link New Hampshire's website, or if you can't find these resources or if you have any questions, you can always reach out to Christy and I, 603-693-6452 or 470 anytime, and we'd love to be able to connect you with something. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it, and as always, we hope you're all doing well. We're going to end with our commercial, so we hope you enjoy. Caring for aging parents can be overwhelming. It can affect every aspect of your life. Is mom taking her medication properly? Is dad more confused today? Is he safe living on his own? When is it time to consider senior living options? Assisted Living Locators wants you to know you are not alone. We understand change isn't easy, and the choices can be overwhelming. We make a difficult decision much easier. Our local senior living advisors help match your loved one to the right solution for your family. We're a nationwide, no-cost senior living placement service and the expert guidance you can trust for one of the most important decisions you'll ever make. Our local senior living advisors provide the personal assistance in locating the right options for your loved ones. We'll come with you to tour communities and provide guidance and transitional support. Here's what some of our families have to say. Today's senior living options are better than ever, offering everything your loved one needs to be safe, happy, and healthy. The opportunity to develop new friendships and engage in activities. Enjoy spending quality time with your loved one. Most importantly, you'll experience the peace of mind that comes from knowing that your loved one has found a place to call home. Nobody understands your needs like your local senior living advisor. Their valuable insight and guidance is available to you free of charge. Call us today to learn more. The local guidance you need for the care they deserve.